Hey guys, Derek here from NapLab. We test the Dream Cloud Premier Rest, which is a budget-friendly hybrid mattress. How well does it perform? Let's go ahead and find out now. Let's start with a high-level look at the Dream Cloud Premier Rest mattress, who it's best for, what it feels like, and why you might want to buy it. The Dream Cloud Premier Rest is a high-profile hybrid option with 2-inch pillow top cover, 4.5 inches of polyfoam, 8.5 inches of pocketed coils, and a final 1-inch layer of support foam at the base. It has a medium firmness, around a 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale, where 10 is the most firm. Our performance tests showed it to have okay cooling, moderate sinkage, very low motion transfer, very slow response time, fair edge support, and good pressure relief. This mattress is a bit of a mixed bag for me. It struggles in several important categories, including cooling, response time, and edge support. While hybrid design usually means these categories perform better, we don't see that here. The Dream Cloud Premier Rest performed well in our testing series, although it struggled in some categories. It scored perfect 10s in motion transfer and company, with scores in the 9s for sex, pressure relief, and off-gassing. In cooling and edge support, the Premier Rest received scores in the mid to high 8s. The lowest scoring category for the mattress was response time, with a score of a 6.8. The mattress has the second slowest response time of any mattress we've tested to date. The firmness of the Premier Rest is around a medium firm, 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale, where 10 is the most firm. This firmness level makes it a solid choice for a wider range of sleepers. The softer pillow top is nice for side sleepers especially. The Dream Cloud Premier Rest is a good choice for sleepers looking for a budget-friendly hybrid mattress with incredibly low motion transfer. Additionally, the Premier Rest has a moderate level of bounce despite the dense motion-absorbing foams. There are a few things to keep in mind when considering the Dream Cloud Premier Rest mattress. Cooling performance for the mattress leaves something to be desired. It was outperformed by all three Nectar mattresses in our test, including the least expensive option. In addition, the Premier Rest has a very slow response time, being the second slowest we've tested to date. Lastly, if you often use the edge of your mattress, you may find the support of the Premier Rest to be lacking, whether lying or sitting. Your body weight and sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleeping positions. The Premier Rest Hybrid has a 16-inch thick profile, 8.5 inches of pocketed coils, and thick comfort materials. My only concern is that some sleepers may find the pressure relieving dynamic so strange that it creates the potential for support problems. Ultimately, this is a comfort issue that could impact support, but not a direct support issue. Otherwise, the medium firmness level of the Premier Rest would be an excellent fit regardless of weight or sleeping position. Next, we're going to move on to our individual performance tests. At NapLab, we test each mattress by analyzing it according to nine different factors that impact the feel, comfort, and performance. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then, we get off the mattress and take measurements of the surface level temperature. The cooling experience on the Dream Cloud Premier Rest mattress was okay, but not great. In our objective data, we measured a maximum surface level temperature of 91.7 degrees Fahrenheit. This is 1.5 degrees higher than the average maximum temperature across all mattresses we've tested to date, which is 90.2 degrees. The heat dissipation curve was also good, but not great. By the one minute mark after getting off the mattress, the Premier Rest hit a surface level temperature of 87.4 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a decline of 4.3 degrees. While the total decline between 1 and 5 minutes is good, ending at 84.5 degrees, the absolute temperatures aren't great. Between the three Dream Cloud mattresses we tested, it was the worst when it came to heat dissipation and was also just slightly less hot at its max temperature, edged out by 0.3 degrees by the Dream Cloud Premier. Subjectively speaking, my experience during the cooling test left something desired. I did feel a noteworthy level of heat retention around my body. 
the dense top layers of memory foam just don't seem to breathe as well as other mattresses we've tested to date. For the sinkage test, we lie on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12 pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. In our pressure point test, we measured a sinkage depth of 2.18 inches. The average sinkage depth across all mattresses we've tested to date is 2.22, so the Dream Cloud Premier Rest is essentially average. Two-ish inches of sinkage is a reasonable level to create good contour and hug without being so deep as to create new issues. To test motion transfer, we place one 12-pound medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12-pound medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to measure the motion generated by the drop. Motion transfer was low. Our accelerometer measured an acceleration range of 2.62 meters per second squared. This is among the lowest motion transfer levels we've tested to date, and also significantly better than the Dream Cloud Premier and original Dream Cloud mattress. The average motion transfer across all mattresses we've tested to date is 5.68 meters per second squared. Looking at the motion transfer chart, we can see that most of the energy is dissipated by 0.2 seconds. A moderate level of energy persists up until 0.7 seconds before returning to near zero levels. This is a fast dissipation time frame. Very few mattresses will offer superior motion transfer compared to the Dream Cloud Premier Rest. To test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and demonstrate the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. Response time on the Dream Cloud Premier Rest mattress is slow, very slow. It's the second slowest responding mattress we've tested to date, only being edged out by the original Dream Cloud mattress. It takes 3.7 seconds for the materials to mostly recover, and a full recovery takes 4.5 seconds. On average, it takes a mattress 0.58 seconds to mostly recover and 0.94 seconds to fully recover based on our full library of testing data to date. As a result, if you are the type of sleeper who feels trapped or stuck by the feel of foam, you may want to consider a faster responding alternative. Nectar's Premier and Nectar's Premier Copper were both significantly faster when it came to the response. The Purple Mattress, Nest Bedding Zhao, Lisa Legend, and Ghost Bed Lux are all other super fast responding mattresses, each of which has a mostly recovered response time of 0.2 seconds. To run the bounce test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. Bounce height was moderate to low. We measured a total bounce height of 7.88 inches. On average, we see a total bounce height of 9.39 inches. The Dream Cloud Premier Rest is a good bit below average, but still has a reasonable level of bounce. While bounce is a preferential factor, it does make moving around on the mattress easier, getting in and out of bed, and of course, improve sex. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Edge support for both lying and sitting isn't good on the Dream Cloud Premier Rest. In our objective test, we measured a maximum compression of 5.5 inches. This is notably more than the average, which is 4.68 inches. While sitting directly on the edge of the mattress, you can see the significant compression applied to the mattress and the lack of support. While sitting support on the edge isn't good, lying support is even worse. I did not feel well supported while lying directly on the edge of the mattress. In addition, I felt like the mattress was trying to roll me off the bed. When I cut up the cover to examine the internal foam layers, I noticed the top layer is both not well glued and also has a significant tapered slope towards the edge. These factors are combining to exacerbate the edge support issues, which results in an edge that isn't capable of well supporting sleepers. Honestly, I was very surprised by the edge support on the Premier Rest. Edge support performance on the original Dream Cloud and Dream Cloud Premier were both significantly better by comparison. It was strange and unexpected to see so many edge support issues with the highest end Dream Cloud mattress. Our sex rating formula looks at five different factors weighted based on their importance. We use the scores from our other factors, plug into the formula, to derive a sex score for each mattress. For the Dream Cloud Premier Rest, these individual factors generated a sex score of 9.3.
Although the score isn't bad, the Premier Rest has moderate to low bounce. Bounce is really important for good sex, and we've definitely seen higher levels from other mattresses. In addition, pressure relief is good, but not great. With two sleepers close together, there's a greater chance there could be some pressure point issues arising. Edge support was also notably lacking. While sitting, there was 5.5 inches of give, which is not nothing. Even with the thicker profile of the Premier Rest, this is still over 30% of the total thickness of the mattress. Lastly, cooling on Premier Rest was okay, but not great. It struggled with heat retention, and with partners doing the dance with no pants, a little extra heat can quickly start to feel uncomfortable. The material components, quality, and comfort layer thickness are all critical factors to pressure relief. Other factors that further affect pressure relief are body weight, body type, and sleeping position. Pressure relief on the Dream Cloud mattress was strange. The top layer of foam has a peculiar feeling, and not in a good way. It doesn't feel very well glued. As a result, the layer feels like it's less a part of a greater whole mattress and more that it's an independent layer, almost like a detached foam topper. The feel it creates is strange and certainly a unique feel among mattresses that I've tested. In my view, this creates a less than ideal pressure relief dynamic. Instead of a series of layers working together to gradually ease your body into the mattress, you end up with what feels more like a solid core mattress topper. I wouldn't go as far as to say that the pressure relief is bad, but it's not as good as others we've tested by a healthy margin. To evaluate off-gassing, we monitor the mattress following the initial unboxing, taking a subjective measurement of any strong lingering smells. Off-gassing was surprisingly very low. Dream Cloud uses deodorizer packs, and they really do seem to make a big difference. There was a minor smell upon the initial unboxing, and that smell only lingered for one day. This is notably better than the average. On average, the mattress we've tested to date have a smell that lingers for 2.58 days. Dream Cloud's company policies are pretty good and consumer friendly, in my opinion. If you're familiar with Nectar's lineup, these terms and conditions may look familiar. Dream Cloud offers a 365 night trial and a limited lifetime warranty. The warranty covers defects or flaws in the material or construction of the item as long as you own it. Unrepairable issues within the first 10 years are offered a brand new mattress. Issues after the first 10 years are still offered the same mattress, but the customer pays $50 shipping fee. Shipping is free, returns are free, and the mattress is made in the US. All of these factors earn DreamCloud a perfect score when it comes to company terms. All things considered, the DreamCloud Premier Rest is very much a mixed bag for me. It's got low motion, moderate sinkage, and a moderate bounce. However, cooling isn't great, response time is very slow, and edge support leaves much to be desired. For most sleepers, I would recommend the Dream Cloud Premier instead of the Premier Rest. It performed notably better in a number of key categories including response, edge support, and sex. Despite this, if you still think the Premier Rest is right for you, I would recommend it for sleepers who are looking for a hybrid mattress on a budget. It's a cheaper option as far as hybrid mattresses go and comes with an extremely low level of motion transfer. In spite of the motion absorbing foams, the Premier Rest still offers a moderate amount of bounce, which does improve sex. Additionally, you will need to prefer a medium firmness, as the Dream Club Premier Rest is a 6 out of 10, where 10 is the most firm. This level of firmness is a perfect fit for most people, as the majority of sleepers prefer a firmness in the 5 to 7 range. Well, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments or questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Dream Cloud Premier Rest, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at naplab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.